Hello guys, uh, welcome to my latest DVD VHS update. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, so I'm, I have quite a few DVDs, so this is probably going to be a multi-part uh, DVD update. So, to start out, I'll show you uh, just regular DVDs I got. Most of these I picked up at uh, Walmart Haunted. Forty spine tingling ghost stories. Really don't know anything about these. I think I think it was a TV show. I watched one episode. It irks me. I got I bought this thing and the little thing is broken inside. I always get on my nerve when I buy something like that and it's broken. But anyways, and then next I got this at the used bookstore. Day of the Animals. Leslie Nielsen. Never seen it, but it says that all the animals in the world like go crazy or something like that. Try and start attacking humans. It looks interesting. I just bought that day. Nice 70s movie. And then I got the Jetsons movie. I remember going to see this when it came out of the theaters. I absolutely loved it. It took them forever to come out with it on DVD, but I really enjoy this movie. I think it's a really underrated cartoon. And then I picked up Toolbox Murders. Haven't seen it yet. I'm going to watch, I'm going to have like a marathon on Halloween and watch a bunch of these horror movies. I think I heard uh, Cool Duder mention this one. Oh, anyways, it looked interesting. And then, of course, classic. You know I'm a Charlie Brown fan. Snoopy reunion. I mean, come on. You can't go wrong with Charlie Brown. And then, a classic. Revenge of the Nerds. Bought it for five bucks at Walmart. Classic movie. Uh, then you got another classic movie, the first Highlander, Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery. I mean, who who doesn't know anything about this movie? This is it's classic. I think it's the better of all the movies. The rest of them are just I don't know they're okay. And then I've seen um, Mr. Parker. I think had this on his Halloween update, I believe. Bought it for five bucks at Walmart. And then last winter, it's another movie I just picked up on a whim. Because I like Ron Perlman. I know he's in a lot of B movies, but I just like his movies anyways. Even if they are B movies. Because I'm a big B movie fan, so. And then Chevy Chase Fletch Collection. These are very, very good comedies. You actually, I, actually, I'm surprised you don't hear people talk about these more. It's Chevy Chase playing a detective. And I like the box. Actually, the box is <laughs> part of the reason I picked it up. But I still, I love the movies. They're really, really good comedies. And then I picked up the classic movie Poltergeist. I mean, great Steven Spielberg movie. I mean, I hadn't watched this in years and I picked it up and watched it. I mean, it's, it's really good. And the effects in it are, for the time they were made in the 80s, it's really good. You know. And then I picked this up to go with it so I could watch I mean it's a uh, DVD pack you got Amityville Horror The Legend of Horror House but the reason I picked it up was to get Poltergeist 2 and 3 and the second one's pretty good the second Poltergeist you can't see it because it's a sticker um, the third one is it's alright I mean I like it but it's not the first one and the second one are the best movies 
And then I got another package deal, you know, two DVDs, The Howling. I've been wanting to see The Howling again, and The Omen, and I've never seen the new one. I've seen the old Omen, but I haven't ever seen the new one, so really looking forward to seeing these. And then I couldn't resist this one. I seen it. John Carpenter, The Messenger of Fear. It's got four of his DVDs in it. You get The Thing, Prince of Darkness, They Lived, The Village of the Damned. I like They Lived and The Thing. Those are two of my two movies I really like. They were really cool. Uh, they Live is a. It's really interesting. I mean, it's got aliens in it and. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. It's really cool. And then I got another package deal. It's the land of the land that time forgot, and people that time forgot. I, I like these midnight movie double features. They got some really unique movies they sell. I picked up a couple of box sets of them. And then I think Extra the Mutilator had a review on this one. Strange Invaders and Invaders from Mars. Strange Invaders is okay. I really like Invaders from Mars. It's really cool. The aliens in it, to me, were really, really look like what you'd think an alien would look like. I mean, I know it's, it's a cheesy movie, but they made the aliens in it kind of unique looking. Uh, at least I thought they were unique. And then I bought this one at, I think it was Sam's. Turner Classic Movies. It's a horror collection. Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, Freaks, The Haunting, House of Wax. I've never seen Freaks. I've seen the other ones, but I've never seen Freaks. And I've always heard it talk. I heard a lot of people talk about it. I heard, you know, I had a lot of controversy when it came out. I think. But uh, yeah, I'm really interested in seeing that. And then I'm going to move on to the stuff I bought at Big Lots. I've I've become addicted to buying stuff at Big Lots now. That's thanks to Mad Puppet Death. She uh, turned me on to Big Lots. I love that. $3 for a movie. I mean, come on. That's great. Private Parts. It's another one I have not watched. Looked interesting. Most of the cover kind of <laughs> made me wonder about it anyways. It looked interesting. We'll see. And then I bought... A couple of these. I never watched these when they were originally on TV. And I, they're cheesy, but I really like them. Uh, I used to read the books, but I never, for some reason, I just never watched it on television. Interesting show. I, I mean, I like it. And then I did watch this one, The Woods. That is a very good movie. I think I've heard several people give reviews of it online. I mean, I was surprised. I really enjoyed that. And it's got got the man, Bruce Campbell. I love his movies. He's the king of B-movie actors. And then I got Basket Case 3. The monsters in this look pretty cool. I don't know if I have ever seen one or two of this. I've heard of them, but I don't know if I've ever viewed them. So, I may have to go pick those up before I watch it 